my my favorite moment is when the attendees just keep coming up on the screen and I get to see everyone joining from around the world saying hello where are you guys from if you don't mind that's also my favorite part if you can comment where you're from where are you joining from um Poland Miami Latvia Prague wow amazing LA Florida wow <laughs> so cool absolutely love it just like let's just take a second and just realize that we are a group of women joining from all around the world uh to chat you know to connect I think it's super super beautiful like it was my biggest wish to to curate a group of women that are curious that want to learn more about their bodies you know we this is what we do at higher self academy we just get women that are curious and 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 says fuck it to the mainstream and want to connect with other women uh oh, so much better <laughs> and want to learn so we're gonna take one more second to and see what um if give everybody a little bit more time if you guys want to like share uh what's your biggest health issue or what is your biggest goal for this webinar what would you like to learn about what is that you want me to talk about what's your biggest health goal or like the biggest struggle that you have right now big smile from Poland I love that low energy okay cool endometriosis boost metabolism learn maintain my body fat okay very cool thank you so much for uh, bloating since forever hormones bloating perfect low energy fantastic okay thank you for sharing uh SIBO again bloating acne okay well I can definitely relate to all of this and I feel like sometimes our biggest gift is going through all of these shitty things in life and just realize that you can help others do the same um yeah very very excited to share with you what I have uh, I have a little presentation to share that I usually share would love for you to, to see it um and then I'll be taking your questions if anything isn't clear then uh, please let me know um but yeah let's let's why don't we just dive right in and yeah, and then I'll be, I'm going to pull up your chat. So if, if there's anything unclear, um, please, please uh, post in the comments. Just make sure, uh, let me know if you can see it very well. How to get fit as fuck uh, uh, without giving up your favorite foods or starving yourself. Let's do it. All right. Um, who's ready? I'm ready. <laughs> this is so good. I don't have to do these webinars at like midnight, like I have to in Bali, it's just middle of the day. Uh, so it's fantastic. Um, oh, this is just not switching one second. All right. This is my promise to you that you finally understand what biohacking is, how biohacking is different in mainstream, um, the starvation diets, uh, and why is it different? Why is it gonna, why is it the missing piece that you need to, to actually just like heal yourself at the end of the day, right? Like that's, um black screen for me anyone can see just let me know who is this webinar for and if you one of these people please um identify yourself and raise your hand are you someone who thinks that your genetics are against you know i will i did and i actually have proof of that i have my genetics test it says yes you have a bcd running in your family you know and i have 15 percent body weight which is incredible but Yes, it's running definitely in my family. That's a great excuse for me to be a little bigger. And then, you know, I if you have some extra weight you want to leave behind in 2023 or in the, you know, in the winter, your skin isn't face tune perfect or your hair isn't like from a shampoo commercial. So yes, oh, a better orgasm. If you're one of those people, great. This is what we do at Fit as Fuck. Uh, and this is my audience. This is, my audience are women uh, that have tried mainstream starvation diets and it didn't work for them and either ended, ended up like dis dysregulating their hormones and putting more weight. Um, and, you know, we all kind of felt like there was something wrong with us when we felt tired and, you know, and stressed about food all the time. We didn't know uh what to do and so that's basically what i usually work with and just to make it very clear when i say fit as fuck this is not not my definition of fit fit is not exactly about losing weight fit is about getting like really excited to be in your body and strong and smart and powerful and 
yeah, it's not about looking like a supermodel, uh, you know, underweight. It's not about looking like a, a fitness influencer um, of these crazy proportions. It's about looking like you, just the most beautiful, healthiest version of you. And it doesn't involve counting calories, downloading apps and obsessing over what, oh my God, what have I done? What have I eaten, et cetera, et cetera. Because at the end of the day, I do believe in body's intelligence and where we're not meant to be counting calories, we're meant to just eat real food at the end of the day. And this is what my definition of fit is. Definition of fit is having flexibility, having um, power, having strength to do sports I love and follow, uh, being strong enough and healthy enough to have a family, having access to real food and, and being able to eat real food. That's that's my definition of fit. And I just want to share that right, right off the start because it's really important. This is our little agenda it's not exactly today's agenda because this is what we do at fit as fuck but this is anything that picks your interest from the screen that i can chat to you about today right because it's obviously we won't have time for everything but this is one of the things that we talk you know i teach in the challenge and so if anything picks your interest let me know we have three pages like that right we have mindset gut hormones belly stress sleep uh and meditation better hair um yeah and we talk about sex and supplements and haha all right so if you can see the screen if you can share with me if whether whether or not you have heard any of these before you know like um we have you know calories are not the same calories are all the same and you should count them fat makes you fat you know avoid salt and coffee and make sure you work out six times a week snacks are great have five meals a day to keep your blood sugar up. Like these are the things that I have scouted around through very successful fitness experts, 4 million, 10 million. These are the things that they are still sharing, you know, and it fucking annoys me <laughs> at this point because it's a little bit, it's just not true. And yes, all of these sports people have incredible metabolic flexibility and it almost feels like whatever they're going to eat they will uh they will lose weight but that's not the case for the normal person no more human like you and i because yeah if i follow those mainstream fitness advice a uh, diet i would i would be chubby and i wouldn't be talking to you today i would be just curled up in a ball feeling oh my god something's wrong with myself everyone's skinny and i'm not so i'm broken etc so uh we are here to debunk all of that bullshit advice that's out there the world is waking up. They realize that something's up. And this is my story. I was always a chubby child. I thought I would always be one. And so I have this identity of a little pasta, as my mom called it, <laughs> that she just me. And so when I became vegan, I was like, dang, like this is it. Like I'm going to lose weight. But all of a sudden, ta-da, I ended up being pre-diabetic. And so I didn't understand how someone who weighs 45 kilos is pre-diabetic, right? So super unhealthy. I was like, oh my God, I can't imagine injecting myself with insulin for the rest of my life. As you know, insulin actually really ages you. And so that was really, really scary for me. Uh, then my hair started falling out and I was like, wait, like, and you know, I was still on a vegan diet and I was like, surely I can just eat more raw and more vegan. And that is not to say that vegan diet doesn't work. It just didn't work for me. It doesn't work for a lot of people. Um, and just, just sharing my story. And so, yeah, I started losing hair in patches, my skin, this is my skin. I got really, really depressed and, uh, yeah, let's be honest. Like it, it wasn't even that I no longer felt like I was attractive. I felt quite invisible in the society, just be looking like that. I was almost like my energy was trying to hide myself because I just didn't really love, I didn't feel healthy. I didn't feel comfortable around people. Um, and, you know, that's one of my unfair advantages is that at that time I was, you know, my boyfriend at the time owned a, a massive supplement company and he was a biohacker. And so he introduced me to a lot of these concepts. And I, he also gave me access to a lot of doctors that, you know, are $50,000 uh, for a visit, right, for training. And so he was able to introduce me to a lot of uh, incredible doctors. And by the way, the photo on the left here with Dr. Melissa, who's part of my challenge for this fact, but she actually healed my hair. So she, I invited her to come on the challenge. I was like, Melissa, tell everyone what you did to my hair to save me uh, because she healed my hair. And so, yeah, she, she doesn't really treat patients, but um, 
but it was really, really cool to see having that access and yeah, unfair advantage, but I was able to heal. And now I'm like teaching women to do the same um, because this is what I looked like. And, you know, I was doing really, really well as a travel influencer. Who remembers that he's a travel influencer? I feel like I still am a little bit, but I was building an app for presets. You know, my presets were making, what, seven figures every year. And I was like, okay, everyone gets an app now. I'm going to build my own app, but I'm building an app. Meanwhile, super depressed. I'm like, I don't give a shit about photo, photo editing anymore. You know, I was curled up on a couch. And I was like, I need to find some meaning. And so I got, I started healing myself because, you know, there's this funny saying that the sick person has only one wish and the healthy person has many. And so my only wish was to get healthy. Now that I did, it has become my meaning and my mission. And, you know, even though it was a very brave decision of me not to fully follow the money, but I'm very happy that I get to do this versus photo editing. Um, yeah. And so that was my transformation, but only I was able to lose weight. I, I got into biohacking because I wanted to get my hair back. I wanted to get my hair back. I wanted to fix my skin. I never thought I would lose weight. I just didn't want to get bloated. I felt swollen. And so when I lost all that weight and bloat and I was like, dang, like it's quite incredible um, that it is that I would ever live to a point in my life, even though I'm older to, to do that. And so you can see here, like the swelling on the right hand side, this is, you know, inflammation eating. It's not even eating carbs, it's just inflammation, eating the wrong kind of carbs and just like lack of vitality, lack of life force. I don't know if you can, can you see it in my eyes? Like that is just like, how I see now and how I see, you can just sense the energy and the photo of someone who who's just, you know, both are quite calm. I was trying to match a photo with like the same kind of smile and the same kind of lighting and no makeup, you know, on the left I had fake lashes, but yeah, you can just see that it's just like, um, yeah, I'm so swollen that I have had alopecia hair loss for years. Well, yeah, so you can definitely relate to all of these photos. I really hope that, you know, a lot of you here don't, your skin isn't as bad or bloating isn't as bad or, you know, hair loss isn't as bad because it's really just like everything at the same time. I was like, what the actual fuck? Like, I cannot, like, I really need to just do something about it. So, yeah, that's my transformation. This is my before and after story. And so I was like, okay, does this work for other women? I was very curious. And I started sharing it with my friends as it was like my hair was growing back. And yeah, uh, I we have been running these courses for a year and a half now. And we have seen incredible transformations with clients. And so um, I just wanted you to know that biohacking will work for you, like for me and for many other women. Um, this is more proofs. These are just some of the reviews that are on the pendant website called Trust Pilot. Um, <laughs> uh, and yeah, Jessica, you know, we had mamas that were just like fresh off postpartum and two and a half weeks, they lost so much weight. Um, and so there's proof. We have thousands of, of happy students now. So it's not just me. This shit actually works. And I really love that, you know, Nikki here shares, um, I have seen about 30 different doctors about my issue with hormones and no one has relayed this level of information to me about the drastic effects hormones can have on your body as clearly as, as in depth as Aggie. So yeah, you just got me in the best shape of my life. Like, so it is going to work for you. Let me just put it that way. And I can just keep going with the proof, but let's just get cut to the chase. Now that you have the backstory, let's talk about food. What is food to you? Uh, I want to ask you this very simple question, right? Because we talk a lot about what are we going to eat, what not to eat, et cetera, et cetera. But I think it's really important to understand what food actually is. Energy. Yeah, beautiful. What else? What would you describe as food? Just if you were like intuitively. Energy, pleasure, beautiful. Nutrition, comfort, beautiful. And so... For me, what's present for me is actually that food is a combination of energy and nutrition, right? It's something that I, I it's like a fuel for my body. And, you know, this Kim Kardashian says, to, you do not put a bumper sticker on a Ferrari. And Aguilar says, you don't pour like some shitty, you know, water or, or vinegar into a Ferrari. Like you want to get the most, the best quality gas, the one for $10 a gallon or whatever it might be. 
And so, uh, yeah, that's a very fair question. This this is my definition of food. Food is something I can digest. It wouldn't harm me or kill me. And it has some nutrients that would keep me alive. Like that's my definition of food. And so like that, this these things are not food to me. And I think what was really screwed up in today's society that we eat things that are not food and then we call it food and then we get sick. And, you know, this is just a couple of examples. And it's not about the burger being, there's nothing wrong with the burger. There's nothing wrong with the fries. There's nothing wrong with the fried chicken. If you make it home, it's the way that they're being made and produced in today's society that they have actual scientists, actually, like there are teams of people and millions of dollars spent of finding the sweet spot, right? The perfect salty, uh, uh, sweet and bitter combination that makes you eat more like highly palatable foods and so these foods are lab made the amount of spices the amount of ingredients that we cannot read are making us addicted and putting a lot of toxins in our body but this is not even that bad you know one of the worst toxins you can have is picking up a store receipt drinking from a plastic bottle drinking tap water right that's um full of heavy metals like my body was full of heavy metals and so just understanding that like what we actually call food and you know the way this food is created is not really what our grandmas and grandpas used to eat and that's basically my next question to you what is your favorite food what's your favorite food growing up that your mom made or maybe you made it or your grandma pierogi always comes like my polish people are like pierogi my favorite was sweet pierogi though french fries Pierogi z yes, Rebecca, like I hear you. Lasagna, cheese, chocolate, amazing. So now I feel like if I give you, you know, I'm more than happy to share with you, we have a free meal plan. But the truth is, I believe that if you get on any single diet, at the end of the day, what kind of life is that if you can't have your favorite food? What kind of life is that when you can't have your Peking duck or spaghetti carbonara or whatever? right? It sucks. Like who wants that food? I know I don't want to have that life where I can't eat my favorite foods. And my favorite food is actually strawberries and cream. Like that's just truskawki ze śmietaną in Polish. I just freaking love them. I have my favorite food every day. And so I want you to understand this, but biohacking isn't about not eating your favorite foods, right? And I think a lot of diets are get so strict and you follow and it's just like, oh my God, I don't, I don't want to mention names, but there's a lot of diets that are just like, eat this here and eat that there. It's like, okay, great. But at the end of the day, what if you, what if you just, you can still eat your favorite foods every day and still lose weight? Like, would you believe me if I said, you can eat any food you want, any of your favorite foods? No, <laughs> Jolina, I wouldn't believe you. Okay, so I am testing this theory and I'm bringing more and more people together because I. I know that has been true for me. And so I believe you can eat any food you want without any restrictions. If you eat in the right order, if you eat at the right time of the day, and if you eat at the right time of the month, and you don't have to believe me, I, you can test that for yourself for a month, two or three. If it works, please come back, dive deeper with me. Um, you know, continue your journey in biohacking. If it doesn't, totally fine, but hear me out. And why am I going to say that to you? Like, there's a lot of science that, you know, my team are working behind the scenes to actually pull together research and see, because there's so many great experts. There's Dave Asprey, there's Glucose Goddess. There are all of these amazing people in biohacking space, and they're all teaching different bits, right? The one is in the, um, Alyssa Viti talks about cycle. Dr. Mindy talks about fasting. Uh, Glucose Goddess talks about glucose. But they, there's no one that brought this knowledge together. And so, yes. And so I was like, what, why don't we just like use all of this research that these amazing experts are citing and just combine them, right? So, you know, glucose goddess is incredible when it comes to glucose, but there's a lot of things that she doesn't mention about antinutrients, right? Um, and fasting, then fasting is great, but like sometimes it's really important to to also fast according to your cycle. And that's another one. And so it's like, I basically brought all of this knowledge together and realized that, you know, there are millions of diets and what 
what has been worked, you know, there's this incredible work by Dr. Weston A. Price. If you have extra time and you want to get some homework, Google Weston A. Price. He was a dentist from the 1920s. He traveled on the world trying to figure out what's the perfect diet, you know, on the planet. And what happened? He came to a conclusion there is no one, you know, he's like Europeans eat different, they eat their bread and their cheese and they're totally fine, they're healthy. Uh, I go to Asia and they have their rice and they're totally fine and healthy. It's like, there is no one diet that's going to work for everybody, but there are some principles that help our bodies thrive. And I want you to just, I wish I could tell, you know, like stick to X, Y, and Z, but at the end of the day, it all depends on your cycle. So bonus points, if you want to get into expert biohacker, if you can eliminate non-foods, this is what I call food that isn't actually bringing any nutrients and, and energy, toxins and anti-nutrients. That's a really big one. I think, um, again, no one talks about the toxins. There are everywhere, you know, even taking a shower. Um, and how many of you live in the city? Let me just put it that way. Raise your hand if you live in a city. The water that you have in the city is extremely toxic it's full of heavy metals because of the pipes the, regardless of what city that you live, live in and so if i told you that um you know it's great i'm sure you use a water filter or maybe using plastic bottles you don't drink tap but then you go and take a hot shower and the steam from the hot shower and actually you inhale that and it might sound like i'm being a little dramatic but actually the very inhaling of the heavy metals is what really can impact your hair. So here you are thinking you're doing everything right, eating super healthy diet, meanwhile taking hot showers in the city and all the heavy metals that are in the steam are getting inhaled. And you know, if you ever been to a hospital, if you ever done drugs, <laughs> either or, you would know that you know the inhalation is the fastest way to put something in the body, right? We know that with you know with recent pandemic as well so um you know it's different when i ingest something it's going to take me about 30 to 40 minutes if i inhale something the result is instant just because of what happens to our lungs so just being aware that what we're actually breathing is is that has the biggest impact on us and that's where the toxins are getting stored is really important which i didn't know i don't know how many of you need that but that's actually a really really big one that like a shower filter is probably one of the biggest biohacks out there yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. So heavy metals is the number one reason why your hair is falling out. Not number one. There's many reasons, but I don't want to be too dramatic. But like that was my reason from eating fish because I was like, oh, I shouldn't be vegan. I'm going to have fish and, and sushi because it's like better for me. Meanwhile, I had so much parasite and also um, yeah, I had an incredible amount of heavy metals. When you have heavy metals, you will lose hair. You'll lose most of your hair. This is just common knowledge. You can, I don't know if you can Google that, but it's pretty common to say. Anyways, back to this uh, and back to what I believe is works, right? Like pulling together all the research of all the biohackers. I'm like, why don't someone just like bring them all together and put them one in one spot? And that's what we did with my team. So here's the idea for the right order. We eat veggies first, which is fiber. And then we have protein and fats and starches because we're running a little late. Let me just screenshot it just so you have it for, for the future, right? Um, this is the right for order to eat foods in. And this is uh, a sample of our video with Glucose Goddess who's teaching at Fit as Fact. So this is credit belongs to her, but it's literally just veggies, fiber, and protein and fats. And what happens, right? What happens when we eat in that order? You might be thinking like, okay, like, why does it matter? Well, it matters because veggies create this beautiful net that really just slows down the digestion. And so when digestion is getting slowed down, you're actually allowing your body to, uh, to have a less of a glucose spike. Let's just put it that way. And glucose spike, um, every now and then it's not a big deal, but the more often it happens, this is basically why I was pre-diabetic. It, um, it makes you age faster. It makes you really scrub your hair. Hormones um, get dysregulated. Um, you have PCOS or endometriosis. This all comes from hormone dysregulation. Sorry. And the biggest reason for that is actually just glucose spikes. So it would be really, really interesting for you to, to test that and see how you feel, right? Just, again, if you want to have your pierogi nalesniki, 
great. Have a salad beforehand, have a vegetable, have carrots, cucumber, uh, you know, whatever it is, veggies, some fat and protein, and then have your uh, pierogi, right? Like have an appetizer, right? That's what they're uh, there for. Um, now, next rule is, um, is this, are you guys are following? Am I going too fast? Let me know. Because no, everyone's so quiet that I'm like, <laughs> please let me know if, um, if you can hear me just fine. Good speed. Um, doesn't matter if veggies are raw or cooked uh, or pickled. Perfect. Um, eat on the right time of the day. So fasting, obviously, I'm a big, big fan of fasting. It annoys me that it gets very misunderstood because most women fast like men. And that's why it sucks and doesn't work for us. We lose our period. We dysregulate our hormones. We put on weight, et cetera, et cetera. So it's really important to understand that you need to fast like a girl. And Dr. Mindy, also part of uh, Fittest Fuck Challenge, uh, teaches just that, right? And so ideally, there are two kinds of metabolisms, and ideally you want to be able to switch between the two. Uh, so how do you know when you found the right window? It depends on your cycle. It depends how long you have been fasting. It depends on your cortisol levels, so how stressed you are, right? Um, if you are going through a lot and you're stressed and you are a week before your period and you decide, oh, you know, I should be fasting because I had chocolate yesterday because I was feeling like, you know, before my period, so I'm going to go fast today. And the fact that fasting will make more damage than the chocolate you just had because you felt bad. Like, can you just like understand for a second, like how crazy is that? Uh, someone's asking women in menopause, you, you, I would love for you to, um, you don't have to limit your fasting if you're in menopause, but would love you to sync your, you still have a cycle of the moon. Cause I think it's really, really beautiful and important for us women to continue with the cycle, um, just for the sake of having a cycle. Uh, how do you fast every day? No, that's the thing. You don't fast every day. Even in the part of your cycle that you can fast, you don't want to fast every day. That creates something called metabolic flexibility. And metabolic flexibility is a great way to start. Tomorrow, start fasting. Stop, don't eat anything and see how long it can last or before the next meal. Um, eat something right now and see how long can you wait until you get hungry how long can you go without food you know for me it's four or five hours uh but like back in the day two or three hours was maximum so i wasn't metabolically flexible does it make sense so metabolic flexibility is your ability to switch the metabolism to like being able to pull energy from fat and from glucose right because we have two metabolisms and the way one takes energy from glucose from sugar the other one takes energy from fat called fat adaptation and so or ketosis right so we want to be able to do both it's not about staying in ketosis it's not about just using glucose and having sugar before a workout it's about doing um, um doing it at the same time sorry i'm just looking at your questions um what happens if i fast every day 14 hours isn't terrible but what happens is you raise your cortisol levels and for women that often means that the, our cortisol levels, when it's high, we, I mean, you can dysregulate your hormones, you can lose your period, you can put on weight, because for us, cortisol is basically stress, fight or flight, it's not safe. And so when we don't feel safe, we put on fat because it's our protection mechanism. You know, it's not only creates this little barrier of fat, but it also allows us to basically, um, protect ourselves emotionally and mentally right on that level and so a lot of times when women start feeling safe they lose weight they shed weight because they all of a sudden feel like they can release right so that's that's why cortisol is, uh, you know there's a cushions disease when you have too much cortisol you start storing fat around your neck around your belly um, it's it's a uh, it's a condition uh, so, so how often per week it really depends what day of the cycle is it so there's no like one size fits all there's no uh, way to say i'll oh, do it twice a week or do it three times a week because it depends on your cycle um and then you want to extend your eating window just a little bit my idea what intermittent fasting is is not eating for longer than 12 hours 12 hours is the absolute bare minimum 
if you can't go 12 hours between your meals, this is really bad because it's not even considered fasting, you know, even though you are making sure that you don't eat late at night and allow your body to have at least a 12 hour reset is really, really important for your gut. Trust me. Um, and this is, I'm going to switch to the cycle because a, a big part of why you, what you're asking is actually fasting according to uh, your cycle. And so can you see this graph at the top? This is male hormone, right? Uh, male hormones have same thing. They get a uh, peak of testosterone in the morning and then, yeah, a little lower in the afternoon and then go to sleep and same thing every day, right? And so we live in a society that's built, built around this cycle however um these are female hormones and so we ebb and flow and so our what who don't knows what the red uh graph is and what's the blue do you know which hormones which anyone like in school no okay cool i didn't know either nope nope testosterone nope okay so red is estrogen and blue is progesterone. So the, this is what your hormones look at. What we're missing here is testosterone, which we would love to like add, but we also, as women have testosterone. So male men only have three, men only have one hormone, we have three. And so just as we get our period, our estrogen is on the rise, right? So our estrogen, um, she's gonna peak, she, the estrogen, she's going to peak uh, at ovulation, right before ovulation. So she loves eating keto. She loves hard workouts. She likes pushing herself and whatnot. Um, and that is really important to support that hormone, right? And so um, what is really interesting that a lot of people say like, oh, you shouldn't work out for seven days after the first day of your period, where in fact, your estrogen is on the rise. Like once the... Um, um, your egg, your follicle breaks, it's actually really good for you to work out, right? So maybe if you're not feeling great on day one or two, but day three, really push yourself. Your estrogen is rising. You have all the benefits, right? This is what makes you a little social. Then at ovulation, we have our testosterone rising, which is, again, we can take it a little bit easier because we, you know, we're in the process i won't have time to get into detail but basically that's where uh we can slightly chill with the workouts eat cooler foods etc etc and then after we have uh, our progesterone on the rise and this is where most people get it wrong right progesterone actually likes rest likes carbs um and so it's important to eat like good quality slow burning carbs um it's important for us to um yeah, just take it easy with the workout. So what I said in the post yesterday, you know, you usually get a day off when you get your period, but in fact, you should get a day off before your period, which is way more important. And so this is just, you know, I just copy pasted some of the printouts we have from our course, Fit as Fuck. And so um, just some ideas of what would be an ovulation and then eliminate, this is a bonus point. Um, um, uh, let's talk about, sorry, I'm just reading your questions. Ah, okay. Eliminate non-foods, toxins, and anti-nutrients plus stress. This is, sounds super easy, but it's not. So this is, uh, anti-nutrients again, screenshot from our course, fit as fuck. And you can see what happens with the leaky gut, right? So usually it's like a beautiful wall. If you have a healthy gut and you eat really well, uh, then you can see that, you know, have these, re they, they're really close to each other. And so no food is leaking to your body, but most women, uh, or I hope not, but a lot of women, when they don't have a healthy gut, because we take antibiotics, toxins and whatnot, uh, our gut wall has these holes and that's why it's called leaky gut because the food gets into the bloodstream. So all the minerals, toxins, bacteria, viruses, but straight into the bloodstream and creates inflammation. That's why you're swollen. That's why you have problem with acne, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the more anti-nutrients we consume, the more we increase our hunger. Uh, and also anti-nutrients lead to leaky gut. And we now know why leaky gut is so bad because it creates um, inflammation. Uh, and one of the best way to remove toxins 
from our body is actually just uh first of all fish like i thought i was doing the right choice by eating fish but as you can see again this is a screenshot from fit as fuck that a lot of the fish that we go out to you know love nobu but it's literally salmon sea bass tuna swordfish all of these are very very heavy metal uh, heavy as well as parasites. So there are ways to detoxify yourself after eating. It's not about not eating sushi because I love sushi and I don't want to live a life without sushi. But it's just understanding also like what is the low um, levels of mercury in a fish and what, you know, choosing that. Um, so yeah, so this is super important. I actually really like mackerels and sardines, um, et cetera, et cetera. That's uh, someone said smaller fish low mercury larger it's not always exactly the case like you know you can have a very large salmon and wild salmon and it's fine so you can screenshot it use it um hopefully this is helpful um eat one with low mercury detoxify yourself there's way to detoxify yourself from fish and again screenshots from fit as fact course but this is where i help my student understand how to navigate the anti-nutrients what are the top anti-nutrients where they are and like what are the ways of removing anti-nutrients from our bodies and from our food because it's not about completely not eating them but as you can see um it's really important to know where they are wild caught salmon is low mercury fish all right do you guys feel like you learned something new or is this something that you did you feel like some tomatoes and anti-nutrient? Yes, it's a lectin. Lectins are really, really bad for you. Uh, so right there, tomatoes. That's why, um, and it's funny because our grandmothers would know that, right? They would, uh, you know, would sun dry tomatoes or pickle things. And they, they knew that, you know, um, a lot of these vegetables are not meant to be eaten raw or... Uh, um, Third masterclass, why are you doing the same masterclass again? I mean, I appreciate it. This is great. Uh, uh, I love that you're coming. You should come to Fit as Fuck because that's that's where all the information is. Um, and yeah, I am really helpful to see, uh, ha happy, happy to see uh, that you guys have learned something new. Uh, if you want to dive deeper, I would love for you to consider Fit as Fuck. It's literally what... Uh, I share all of that information, all of the screenshots. We have 200 pages of PDFs where you can really just dive deeper. Um, uh, to, 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 and this is incredible experts that are actually teaching in the course. Jesse, Jim Quick, uh, you know, Emily Fletcher. Uh, we also have added three new experts, you know, Dr. Mindy, Candice, talking about uh, all the secrets of Hollywood that, you know, have the video that blew up her Instagram when I shared like my before and after, um, et cetera, et cetera. And yeah, I record these science videos where I teach you like I teach right now. If you resonate with my side of teaching, that's great. That's basically what it looks like. And then we have workout videos with Amy from Body Factory. We went for whatever reason she's she's become like an absolute favorite of my students and these workouts are killer so you can do them at home you can do them at the gym depending on your weight um you also get recipes you get uh 25 recipes to get you started um you know this is just for you to start and you get those pdfs so everything that you have seen me do this is you know copyrighted by fit as fuck we had as uh, doctors and experts help me create it. So it's like a 20, 200 page almost um, PDF with all of the knowledge put together so you can save that as well. So I know that there's no other program on the market that explains all of this. And I really know that this, I can guarantee results. And, you know, just just along with, with the quality of, of what we have put together, you know, world quest experts and and videos and meal plans and workout videos um uh do you need to take you don't need to take supplements when you're biohacking this is the regular price of our course for lifetime access 666 um and yeah and if, only for people with webinar and by the way this code is only valid for three hours after the webinar. And I know people message me after, it's like, oh, the code's not valid. It's not. So you get, with the code webinar, you get access to the challenge for 21 days. 
uh, for $2.99 instead of $3.99. So you get 21 day access. And so what's going on with the 21 day access? It basically means that um, we realized 666 is expensive, but we kept adding more and more and more to the course from all of the previous, um, you know, and we, we will continue to keep adding it. And so we're like, what is the 666? We understand it's expensive, but uh, it uh, we also wanted to get more people involved. So we realized if you're serious and if you can do the challenge in 21 days, which is basically every day you get a new video. And if you can commit to that 21 days, that's great. Um, then it's, you can get the course much cheaper. Uh, you, there is an opportunity to extend to lifetime access if you wish. But if the budget is tight, you just use it. Use the information that you have. The PDFs are yours forever. Uh, and yeah, and you basically get to experience the course for a much, much lower price for $2.99 instead of $6.66. Um, and yeah, if you, if you really want to keep it forever so far, I think uh something question from my team but i think we're almost at 90 percent of people decided to buy lifetime access because they realized they were like oh my god this is the best course ever i really want to keep it forever and so uh yeah if that's the question for you if you if you would have a summary of everything that you could potentially do um you take care of your health like how much would it be worth to you right and maybe it's not the right fit right now but what i'm offering to you right now is actually my community my community is where you jump on a call with me twice a month and we do these calls and you can ask me any questions you have you get that for free you also get hypnotherapies for free for weight loss related if you're an emotional eater if you feel like something's holding you back we're including hypnotherapies this kind of my anti-aging challenge you know this is the why behind hypnotherapy and also you get 20% off my biohacking bestie supplements. Um, so yeah, that's basically what happens when you join Fittest Bag. Uh, and again, we have created those supplements with actually fit as fact students in mind to help them get even more results and even better results because um, yeah, because what we want, we want to get you in the best shape of your life. And I think we have gone we always ask ourselves what else can we got hypnotherapy what else can we put supplements so uh yeah i would love for you know this is just natural ingredients that we use in our supplement they're safe they're easy to um to share in between and someone's asking is there a specific date this course starts you start individually uh so you start individually so on the first day you get you get three days to get you started and then um you can do it in your own pace. So for example, if you buy it today and you're like, actually I'm going on holidays, I want to start it in two or three weeks, you're more than welcome to. So it's 21 days from the time you watch, uh, start watching the videos, if that makes sense. Um, uh, someone is asking, Sarah, I purchased it as fuck the first time and will I be able to access the course? Yes, 100%. If you got it in January, then you have access to, you bought the lifetime access. So you get to do it whenever you want. If we record new videos, we added what, like seven or eight new videos in this round. And you just get free updates of the course if you have purchased lifetime access. Uh, which day of the cycle we count as we're on the pill? Great question. Oh, I love to, let me just get... Uh, Da, 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 da. I wonder if it is a way for me to. No, I guess I have to do it like that. No, not this one. Sorry, guys, I'm just still struggling with the Zoom. How do I so stop sharing? Um, will I be doing this course again? Yes, we'll do it in November, possibly. We'll have to see. Uh, to, 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 it's two ninety nine is for a twenty one day access. Uh, it's usually three ninety nine. To, 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 to. Any other questions? Uh, how is the fittest fuck different than twenty eight day challenge you had before? Twenty eight day challenge was my email um, challenge that I did with a personal trainer. Uh, he was great, but um, we. <laughs> We didn't exactly agree. Like I wanted to teach more about women according to cycles, syncing with the moon, etc. And he was uh, 
more focused on like fasting and I realized that fasting is very dangerous it's not for everybody uh so it is very different this is all videos this is you know we have 12 hours of videos for you to watch you watch it on an app on your phone you get a special app you watch it like as if you watched youtube basically someone is asking how is 299 different than 399 it's the same it's basically the price for 21 days is 399 with the code webinar you get hundred dollars off so that's all this you don't have to use the code webinar if you don't want to but for the next few hours the code webinar is uh off we, this is what we're offering right so it's hundred dollars off on top of 399 uh what if i bought anti-aging challenge amazing um how do you transfer to fit as fuck uh there is no transfer these are two separate challenges right so it, amazing i'm i love that you are diving deeper anti-aging if anyone is interested it's our seven day challenge when we talk teach a lot about longevity, anti-aging, and fertility. Uh, can I buy it today and not start until July? Yes, you can, but we figured it out so you can buy it whenever. And then whenever you start watching videos, that's where the clock starts. Um, you can start whenever, when after we purchase it. The moment you start watching is basically when 21 days. And this is for us to also, we realize that a lot of people don't really um aren't motivated enough to continue going so we're like oh cool like we want to motivate you and give you 21 days to finish um someone is asking i bought felt the struggle which is my money course is there an opportunity to share a discount this is the absolute lowest i can ever offer this course for 2.99 given that there's 50 videos or so like it's it's a steal like if you know that how many people are involved in making a challenge like that it's you know 20 to 30 people per month and editors and medical researchers and whatnot and graphic designers to make the pdfs really easy to digest it's just it's just impossible uh for us to offer it for anything lower I got all your courses the first time I'm planning to do them over summer. Yay. Um, how do we get lifetime access? So here's the thing. You don't have to risk anything. You can go to the website, get lifetime access right now. If you would rather, you know, think, okay, I'm going to give Aggie a chance. I'm going to test for 21 days. And then maybe I decide to extend, you will have an option. So at the end of 21 days, we'll ask you, would you like to extend? And you can say yes or no. So that was like way less risk for you because if you say like after 21 days, it's like, okay, I've learned it. I don't need to have this information forever. I don't need to have access forever. You don't have to, you had it for 2.99 and you got it. Um, how can I get rid of acne? Oh, it's kind of like, what would be like a good comparison to this question? Um, what I'm trying to think, but it's basically, uh there are so many reasons for acne uh that is basically me answering this question and trying to come up with an answer without knowing anything about you uh would be would be lying i would be at the service because it's not about your skin you know and if it was that easy you wouldn't have acne but clearly you have been struggling and it's clearly a deeper problem and acne is often a manifestation of what's going on in your body, hormone imbalance, glucose spikes, um, toxicity in the body, and it's coming up. So it's, yeah, a million reasons, exactly. So it's not that easy. And what I really love is, you know, you get access to Queen Circle for free for 30 days when you can jump on a call with me. You can do the course and it's like, oh, Aggie, now that I'm listening to X, Y, and Z, and I have trying things, what do you think that is? And we can chat and I can answer your questions. Does it make sense? Um, because it's not, I would be lying if I just told you, hey, no, just have celery juice and you'll be fine because it's way more complicated than that. Uh, which program that you have is the most comprehensive? Fit as fuck is the, the biggest biohacking course we have. It's the most comprehensive and it's perfect if, you're, if you wanna dive deeper, yeah. Uh, where should you start about your hair? Um, testing. I would test your heavy metals if that's the case. I would also see, you know, 
I just wish I could like spend with you like two days, like seeing what you guys eat and what you do. And I'll be like, okay, that's it. Um, uh, which of your supplements will be good for uh, losing your weight after pregnancy? Uh, definitely drop it like it's hot. It's a metabolism booster. It's really, really good. Um, but yes, that would be my absolute favorite. Fuck cravings would be really good for you. Just like a combo would be really, really good. Can I join Fit as Fuck anytime if right now isn't a good time? No. So we're closing it. So we're closing it in 10 days for the summer. And we will be back in October or November. So we won't be just because we want to make sure that everyone is somewhat starting at the same time. So this is you have the last 10 days to actually join the course. Do I take any other supplements outside of my personal biohacking supplements? Yes, I do. Uh, one definitely like vitamins and, and their minerals. And I would love for biohacking bestie to have um, those, but it's really hard to source. And so I didn't want to just put anything out there in the supplements that I was just like, okay, cool. Just so you have it. I'm like, no, uh, but until I reach a level where it's actually epic, for me to to provide those then we'll, we'll hold off do i list all of the supplements on fit Fact? yes i do yes 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 so you'll see every single supplement and not only what i take but what i recommend for different conditions etc so we basically have this like perfect supplement guide mm. uh, if you buy now you can start in july or august uh, yes so you can start whenever you want uh, awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, let me, how do I stop sharing? Oh, pause share. There you go. Now, can you see me now full screen or no? No, maybe. Oh, dang. Uh, hey, finally. All right. This is not much better. Okay. Awesome. Guys, thank you so much for joining. I, I'm, I love that you have learned something new. I'm here on Instagram. If you want, if, uh, would love for you to join Fit as Fuck. It would mean a lot. I, I really feel confident that what we have put out there is like such a beautiful introduction to biohacking. And I wish the score was, you know, was available when I was starting. Um, make sure you use the code webinar to get your hundred dollars off if you want. Test it for 21 days and you'll see that, you know, I think almost everybody where I, I have to go because I don't want to like say something that not but i'm pretty sure that everybody has extended for longer than 21 days because they found value if that's a testament of of our happy students thank you so much for this video much appreciated magda thank you marvina thank you Junia. uh i just bought the course what do i do next yay you should receive an email from me uh and yeah i'm so excited thank you so much for trusting me thank you for buying the course um and i'm super super excited big big hug and i love you and i'll see you on instagram bye